This hour, several law enforcement officers have been taken to the hospital after a shooting in Northeast Charlotte. Details very limited right now, as officials say it's still an active scene and they're shutting down some of the major roadways there. Live Five's Michael Higdon joins us now from the First Alert Desk. Michael, bring us up to date on what we know so far. Well, Roth, the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department says they are shutting down some of those major roadways in Northeast Charlotte to speed up the transportation of the victims. Want to give you a live look at this area where you can see a, still a st uh, seriously active scene. Dozens of law enforcement up and down this roadway and emergency responders. This will happen just before two o'clock this afternoon. The police department says the U.S. Marshals Task Force was in the area conducting an investigation, serving a warrant in that area when they were shot at by a person. This is a Again, a live look at the scene. Now, they haven't released how many people have been injured, but again, say that multiple law enforcement officers have been shot. People who live in that area say they heard easily more than 100 shots fired. Officers have listed this incident as a severe alert. I want to go out to reporter Ron Lee with our sister station who is there on the scene. Take a listen. On Galloway and Bankston, we're probably a block, maybe two away from the actual scene. This is as close as we're going to get. CMPD have the entire area shut down at this point, but this is one route that I was able to get in. I actually tried to get in on the other side of Galloway and was told that it was a very active scene. Bullets were still being exchanged, so we had to remove ourselves as quickly as possible. Hence the bulletproof vest that I'm wearing right now. I was able to wrap around to the other side, get in as close as you can see. Just behind me, you see dozens and dozens of police cars, fire trucks, uh, emergency crews out there. Everybody is out here on scene hoping for the best, praying for the best for these officers that were involved. I have been talking with some witnesses down here on the scene. While nobody actually saw the shooting, I talked to two specifically. One of them told me he heard uh, at least 100 rounds fired one after another. As a matter of fact, some of them were being overlaid, so it sounds like they could have been exchanging gunfire, but we do not have that confirmed at this point. Another witness told me it was like World War III down here. He's never seen anything like it. This is just outside of the Devonshire area, a very quiet type of a neighborhood. I'm very well familiar of it. I used to live here uh, several years ago, very family-oriented, and this is something that you certainly would not believe that would happen in your own neighborhood. We're going to remain on scene, try to get uh, some more information from CMPD, but the facts right now are few and far between. They're not talking. They're still engaged in the situation, trying to bring this to a peaceful resolution. And we'll just kind of have to see and wait what happens. Pray for the best. In East Charlotte, I'm Ron Lee. WBTV, on your side. Now, again, this all started uh, a little more for 2 o'clock this afternoon. Governor Roy Cooper says he is in contact with law enforcement concerning this shooting and has offered state resources to help. Police say they will be holding a media briefing. We're working to learn when that's going to be. At the Alert Desk, I'm Michael Higdon.